Hey folks, it's me, your favorite president. And me, your favorite entitled little bitch. Ha ha ha. That is what everyone's been calling you ever since you got kicked out of that theater in Colorado. And also way before that. True, true. So what exactly happened that night, Bobo? And what the hell were you doing in a theater for fuck's sake? Well, Mr. Trump, me and my date, random white dude, were on our way to the demolition derby in downtown Dinosaur when we stopped off at the Blue Barnacle for a few drinks. How many is a few? Six shots of Cuervo, two long Long Island iced teas, a pitcher of Barbarian Streisand, four fireballs, a bottle of Tactical Nuclear Penguin, and two slippery nipples. That seems like a lot. Oh, dude, we were just getting started. After we did some rails off the toilet seat in the ladies' room, we had two polygamy porters, and then we got a six-pack of pathological loggers to go. I'm guessing you were a little tipsy. We were six shits to the wind, bro. My head still hurts. So how did you end up at a performance of Beetlejuice? I have no idea. What led you being ejected from the show? All I was doing was laughing and singing and vaping and drinking and taking off my shoes and my panties. Why in hell did you take off your panties? Well, it was a long crawl from the bar and I expected to get lucky later, so I wanted to air out my beef curtains. That's understandable. I mean, who wants a funky fandango on date night? I totally get it. Right? Like, what if Marlon Rando decided to go muff diving? No one likes a musty growler. Exactly. So take me back to the moment you were 86. So like, there was like this allegedly pregnant woman sitting behind me who didn't like that I was constantly vaping and screaming and singing at the top of my lungs. Well, doesn't she sound woke? That's what I thought. And what's so hard about being pregnant anyway? I've done it half a dozen times and even went the distance on a few of those. Let's check out the video of the incident to see if we can make any sense of this blatant miscarriage of justice. Bring it on. I have nothing to hide. Yes, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you're going to have to leave the OMG, theater. why are you even talking to me? Please get your shoes and put your panties back on. Do you even know who I am? Yes, I do. You're an entitled little bitch. Marlon, get my shoes and my panties. This is reverse racism. It's because I'm white, isn't it? This is Colorado, ma'am. Everybody's white. Good one. Right? Hey, what the hell? Where are you taking me? This is our official asshole exit. Jesus H. Christmas, this is total BS. I cannot believe I got my big fake melon muffins out for nothing. Melon muffins? That's a new one. Just wait till President Trump hears about this. Heads will roll, buddy. Please tell me you didn't say we had sex. Uh, I had sex with Trump last week and he owes me big time. Holy mother of fuck. Do you hear me, peasants? Heads will roll. So did you at least enjoy the part of the show you did get to see? Loved it. Beetlejuice was my favorite movie as a kid. I totally identified with one of the characters. The beautiful but troubled teen girl who can communicate with spirits? No, the beauty pageant contestant with the rotting corpse stuck in purgatory. Hello, Father. Jared and I were just passing over your precise geographic coordinates, and I thought it would be a good time to establish a space-Earth communication pathway. Well, what do you know? It's my long-lost robot daughter, Ivanka, and her impotent, kooky, cuck cardboard cutout of a husband, Jared. With all due respect, sir, I am not impotent. On the contrary, I have used my seed to great effect and have three beautiful children as a result. Did he just say, used my seed? Anywho, Daddy, I was watching your show and felt it necessary to officially register my distaste for the notion that you and Miss Blobert participated in the act of coitus. Hey, Barbarella, this is America. We speak American here. So maybe Bobo and I did make the beast with two backs, but you can spare me the Judge Judy bullshit, okay? Yeah, at least he's not bumping uglies with a freaking crash test dummy. OMG, what is going on, Jared? I think we may be under attack, my love. Okay, be a man and do something. This is not looking good. But who on earth would want to do us harm? Just, Just everyone. everyone. Oh, oh shit. shit. Hello, Commander Trump, Lieutenant Green of Space Force here. Oh, hey, Lieutenant, what's the scoop, dupe? It pains me to inform you that your daughter in the Cuck's space cruiser was hit multiple times by a Jewish space laser. Wow, that's so cool. So, like, are they okay? No, sir, they're gone. I did tell them not to take that Saudi money. Hey, you still got Tiffany. Oh, Jesus, don't remind me. <laughs> Hey folks, Scared Ketchup wants you to know that he has quit his real job to focus solely on making videos for you. In other words, his only income will be generated from his YouTube channel. So if you are able to pony up a little cheddar, hit that super thanks button or buy your boy a cup of joe. And remember, every $2 you give will help to send the little ketchup packets to college. And every $20 you give means the little rugrats might not have to go to college. Short on cash, no problem. Just like, share and leave a comment. Old man Ketchup will love you either way. Bye. -y.